here with Yaron the Goose. Obviously, end of the season, maybe not quite the race you wanted to end on. Was it you sort of faded there at the end? Was that did you trip or was that there? It was. It was more of the trip. Yeah. yeah. I think um, I felt really, really strong kind of coming into that last lap, and I think. You know, I felt Chariot coming in on my right, so I kind of wanted to like get ready to move. And I think in, in doing that, like I made an unexpected like kind of change in pace, and someone else like, tripped me, and then so you lost some like, momentum there, I guess. Yeah, like once once you trip, like especially that last lap, that, it's yeah, like, yeah. getting it's just gone. Me. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, obviously, last week was was great, and you know, you, you got the big win there. So you know, I guess, how do you reflect on the season as a whole? I think the whole season's been amazing. I, I really feel like I've done I've done so much this year, and I've been so many done so many things I should be proud of. And and so I really am. Like I think no matter what happened in this race, it's kind of just like it doesn't take away from the amazing season I had. So uh, you know, it's just really really happy to get to take that break and then you know on to the next one. next one. And obviously next season Grand Slam track. How are you thinking about these 800s that you've got coming up? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little nervous, but uh, very excited. Yeah, I think I think I have the potential to do really well, and um, you know, even if I'm a little scared, I think it's kind of just go for it, see what happens, and that's what Grand Slam's all about. So, you know, racing the fastest there is. So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Um, and way back in indoor season, I think um, you were talking about what you're doing in the spare time and that you're doing a lot of reading and yes. you mentioned you're reading the Stormlight Archive. Yes. Uh, have you finished it now or like? Yes, I, well, the last one comes out this December actually. <laughs> so I finished the, uh, the fourth book oh, no, um, a few months back. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited for this last what did, what did you think? Did you... Uh, I've, we... I've loved it so far. Like it's just, it feels like each book has just been like crescendoing more and more and I just know this last book is going to be yeah, that's, I mean, I think the first two were probably probably the best. They're my favorites, but I don't know. Yeah, like, see, but it's like the way of key was like definitely my least favorite. Oh, really? Okay. It took me months. It's a bit slow, I guess. It that's took the me thing. Months to read it. Like, I was just like, <laughs> I can't get through this. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, it's, it's great. I love the costume. Right. Here. I love Brandon too. So yeah, no, I mean, he's he's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So have you been watching the Wheel of Time as well? Because obviously he's, uh, I, I have you know, not, he wrote the last few books. I'm not. I know those because those are like a whole another thing, and I was kind of yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to read all the Sanderson stuff first, and then I had like other books I wanted <laughs> to read. But. Brilliant. Well, no, obviously, a bit more time for reading the off season, I guess, yeah, and then uh, <laughs> absolutely. Well, have have a great one, and uh, see you on the other side. Thanks.